guys. So this morning I was <laughs> this morning I was feeling really bad. Almost worse than yesterday. Actually a lot worse this morning. But now I'm feeling a little bit better. We were gonna go to urgent care today, but I don't think that I'm going to. I'm just gonna wait it out because I do feel a little bit better. I can talk a little bit more, so we are gonna see if it goes away now for finally it's been a really long time I feel like I've been sick for two months and some people are telling me that um, if you get a cold during pregnancy or like a stuffy nose that it's not that it doesn't go away until you have the baby oh my god why would you guys tell me that why would you guys tell me that that like freaked me out I better not because I hate having a cold I you guys know that I have anxiety and I have a really bad claustrophobia. So when I am sick and I like can't breathe or I can't talk, I just feel really trapped in my own body and I feel really claustrophobic and really anxious. So this better not last the entire time. Definitely if it does keep lasting, like I can't I can't handle much more of this. So I am going to go figure out what I can do because the doctor did say that I could go figure out what I can do. I'm officially 15 weeks today which I'm very very excited about. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm going to be finding out the gender early like in an elective ultrasound and I would love to but I'm not going to because we have called everywhere and no one in our area we live in montana so no one in our area will really do them much earlier than our doctor will the earliest that they would do them is at like 16 or 17 weeks and it was gonna be like 300 extra dollars so we decided just to wait i know it's i sound crazy for saying that because i don't wait but i we decided that we can wait a little bit longer to um, find out the gender I don't know though <laughs> it's really really tempting and also for any of those places like e e the ones that would do them at all early are in another town so we'd have to go on like a long day road trip so I don't think that that's gonna happen but we'll see probably not <laughs> and we also um, already have it scheduled for January January well, that would be a long time. That would be a long wait. June 9th. So, June 9th, we will be going to get that done. And um, Brandon's mom is coming. And so is are my parents from, well, a really, a, a ways away. I think it's like eight. It's like five to eight hours away. So, they really wanted to be here for that. So, I am going to try to wait for that too because everyone's gonna be here so that'll be good we have about five weeks until we find out the gender and i'm going crazy i'm so impatient i want to know now yeah 15 weeks is exciting 15 15 weeks is exciting ah bubby tex tex do you think it's a boy or a girl you think it's a baby brother or sister what do you say what do you say? You're so much help. Tex, can I have a kiss? Good boy. Good boy. You love your mama, huh? <laughs> you love your mama. My baby boy. What do you think it's gonna be? A boy? Or a girl? Boy? Or girl. So we're just making some dinner. Din -din. Yes, I am. We are making. Whoa, bro. Whoa, dude. Some rice. <clears throat> that is way not thick enough. Some corn, which isn't in there. And some uh, salmon. Salmon. So ever since Brandon almost burned down the house and left me and Tex in a bunch of smoke. Tex has been super weird whenever we are cooking. He thinks that we're gonna like set off the smoke alarms and burn down the house again. 
So he's literally like in the frick in the living room, like just cowering. He's so scared. When usually you guys know, usually he's obsessed with us and he's like at our heels at all times, especially when we're cooking and making like food and stuff. So he's just so weird. He's just sitting here. Which, I'm glad that he's not begging, but it's because he's scared, so. Poor kid. Brandon really scared him the other day. He is so my child, though, to get anxious about it. Hey, buddy. It's okay. We're not gonna burn down the house, I promise. Well, I'm not gonna promise that, but. You'll be fine. I'll, I'll save you. I'll save you. It took him like, he was like inching his way in here. You want some salmon? See, the kitchen's not so scary, is it? So here's dinner. We got our, <coughs> our salmon and my corn, rice. Brandon and Tex feels fine begging in the living room. It's just the kitchen, huh? <laughs> the living room is safe for some reason. It's kind of nice though. He doesn't bug us in the kitchen and I always trip over him, so. But I miss him and he's so scared. And Brandon's got milk. Shocking. <laughs> the Poochie and Crystal are cuddling. I think he farted. <laughs> oh, great. My favorite. <laughs> He's giving me the face like, uh, can this stop now? No, no. <laughs> what a cut on my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. We're going to go to bed. Yeah. Well, Brian's going to stay up because <clears throat> he's a freak and I want to go to bed. I want to watch my TV show. Hopefully I feel better tomorrow. If not, we might go to urgent care. Yeah, hopefully you do. Well, hopefully I just feel better. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I did call my doctor and leave a message at her office.